you're the manager of this club, Sask. We've come here because we think it's the most beautiful location for a stadium in Europe. Do you agree? Yeah, it's one of them for sure. There are 5,736 football stadiums in the world, all with different designs, colours and capacities. From the Bancome Stadium in Guadeloupe, Mexico, to Henningsveer Stadion in Norway. But for some reason, my number one favourite was hidden away in the mountains of North Italy. It'd be hard to explain to anyone what it's like. It's an amazing lifestyle. It's an amazing place to live. A famous location for films like James Bond, Casino Royale and George Clooney's Nespresso ad. George Clooney has a very big villa in Lario. I'm talking about Lake Como. I was born here and so for me it's beautiful to come here. It's a beautiful yeah. old place. A stadium positioned right on the edge of the water where hydroplanes take off behind it. It's a very interesting place, location, because uh, wonderful landscape, the lake, the mountains. Uh. We just need to improve a little bit on the stadium. Yeah. Once we do that, I'm sure yeah. we'll be fine. One football club named Como 1907 lies. I didn't realise um, how much passion there was till I met the local hard working supporters. They're very supportive, they're very passionate about their football. Fingers crossed we can do what we need to do for them and get to the next level. You know, uh, you could feel a little bit of the English yeah. uh, side of it. And they're currently four points off first place in Serie B. Third place at the moment, Como will be in the playoff. Pushing for their first promotion back to the Serie A since 2003. Be ready for the fireworks to go off, that's all I'm telling you. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> They faced financial difficulties and bounced back from it. They have Thierry Henry now as a stakeholder. Yeah, he's a stakeholder with, with uh, Miss S, yeah. Dennis Wise is financial director. Well, it's Dennis who brought me here. And I didn't believe him at first when he rang me up because I wasn't sure whether it was him. And manager, none other than Cesc Fabregas. In fairness to Cesc, I think he's just settling in himself now to make sure that we, we have a type of squad who can push themselves for a promotion. Welcome to a mad football club with the most beautiful stadium location in Europe. Let's get in there and find out what will happen today. Come on. But before we continue with the beauty of Como, it's time to confess my little secret. People always ask me, how do I book all these trips and get tickets wherever I go? It's thanks to my Acer Aspire 3. This laptop has saved me so much time. I used to fly with just my phone, but I needed something more powerful to complete my tasks and still make it to the stadium. My new Acer has simply been the answer. For example, let's talk about the CPU. In the space of 20 minutes, I found things to do for Como, the best route from the airport, booking my Airbnb and even grabbing my match ticket. That's all simply thanks to the AMD Ryzen 7000 series processor. It never lets me down. Whenever I want to check over a video too, I need to make sure the standard is high. And this 15.6 inch screen with full HD resolution quality ensures everything. And you know me, I'm always bouncing from place to place, so one full battery can actually get me through the whole day and more. My tasks are made easy with my Acer Aspire 3, and it only set me back £269.99. It's one of the best deals on the market right now, and you can get on the secret too with the link in my description to purchase one. But let's get back to Como, the trip made possible by my trusty Acer. So we flew into Milan, took straight off to Como, and that's when we first spotted it. The shimmering blue waters of the lake, surrounded by lush mountains, charming houses, and a picturesque stadium. We indulged in the pasta, wine and limoncello, and even caught this stunning sunset. We're in Genila with the fans. We're gonna try a local beer that we've just got from the tap pre-match. This is for Thog Dad. Very good. Very good. Italian beer is always consistent, nice on the tongue. Seven out of ten. There's no word to describe this passion because we are every fucking Saturday we go with uh, my friends to watch our team. Uh, we break the ass everywhere. <laughs> I love this guy. What do you think the score will be? <laughs> I don't know. Oh, no, no, no. Yeah, yeah. There you go. There you go. I told you. They don't do it. No score. Think of a million things that you would think to see in a football stadium. Yeah, you didn't guess it. Look what's here. At the Como ground, a Christmas tree and Santa in a gold chair. He loves it. I've heard this is the rainiest part of Italy and we've caught it on a day in the complete sun. We're going to find out how good the curver is now. The players are warming up behind us. Tell me a more beautiful ground in the world. I don't think I can top this. 10K likes and it's confirmed. And if you disagree, leave a comment. Watch Go on! Watch oh! the go on! There's the away stand. Probably one of their longest away days for Palermo from the south of Italy. Five minutes till kickoff. I'm just soaking it all in. I'm taking a second to actually realise where I am right now. It's beautiful. And there's Patrick Catrone 
the local boy, ex AC Milan, 25 years old, and he's back in Serie B to help get this team up. Cesc Fabregas. He's done a brilliant job to help get this club closer than ever to the Serie A since 2003. The Chelsea legend just next to me pitch side. This is unreal. Palermo fans getting ready for the Curva Nord. Pink and black, it's my first time watching them. The Curva and the Curva Nord and the mountains behind. It's just exceptional. Tell me any football ground that has a few that good. It's just incredible. Oh, <laughs> that's rocked me a little bit. I came here thinking about the beauty of the stadium, but the fans don't disappoint. They, they come in numbers as well. They are passionate. <laughs> in the background, during a match, a hydroplane just taking off. Big shout out to the travelling Palermo fans. There's a few fans there with their shirts off as well, which is a bit mental two days before Christmas, but that's the weather of Como. They're in the sun, they're loving it. Oh no, no, no. Palermo 1-0. Oh no. The South Italians have made it 1-0. There's pyro going off. The pink and black fans go wild. Fair play to them. Honestly, fair play. Oh, Cesc Fabregas has a lot to think about. 1-0 down to a playoff team pushing for promotion as well. Oh, Palermo hit the bar. Oh, what a strike that was. It probably is the longest away day in Italian football. I respect both sets of fans here. Colo and Palermo, fair play. Cesc Fabregas and Dennis Wise didn't expect that banger. <laughs> it's just mad to see so many big names in football come together for this football club. Get the old camera out there. That's half time here in Como. The curva is not happy at all. The away side all the way from the south. A 1-0 up. Grazie. Half time Mould Wine. Let's give a review. Mould Wine, bellissimo. <laughs> Como, Cesc Fabregas in the family. He needs to turn this around, doesn't he? Yeah, he does. Fingers he does. crossed he does it, right? I think he can. They're playing good. Yeah. Not amazing, but there's there's potential. This is 23 carat gold. We're in a football stadium. We are eating gold here. I'm not joking. Cheers, guys. Big shout out. Grazie. We just ate gold, and it was very tasty. Who's going to score? I think Mutir Chaya because it's just... <laughs> And there's confirmation. Just five minutes into the second half, Como one, Palermo one. And guess who is loving it? The Curva. Fabregas' family turning up. 55th minute, switch of stands. We're going to bring the luck here. Every set at half time, it's worked. Let's see if we can make it 2 1. What a chance. Come on, Como. Come on. Oh, come on. Here we go. Ball's in. Go on. Yes! Go on! Yes! Como, 2 1 up. This is what it means. Come on. There's fans climbing the rails to celebrate. I brought the lot. I said I would, and I did it. My ears are gone. My ears are gone. They recognised it. The Como fans love it. Come on. So good to see. Sam Lang scored. 2-2. I don't believe it. Look at their fans as well. This game has got everything. I thought I brought the luck. We're back to 2-2. But there's still time. For this song, all the scarfs are out. Look at this. Beautiful showing. Everyone has brought a scarf to the match. As far as views go, this does not disappoint. Above the stands, the moon dipping behind the mountain. And now the away block lift their pink and black scarves. The curve Nord. Look at that. A hydroplane just taking off. In the background of the stadium. Oh my god. It's a third. Palermo have done it. In the 81st minute. Disappointment in the curva. I can't believe what I'm witnessing here. Still the pyro show is underway. Cesc Fabregas is raging. Everyone's wondering what's going on here. All the players are gathered around. Are they checking VAR? They've got VAR in Serie B. I have no idea what they're checking, but I, I get the feeling it could be a potential red card. He's given a penalty to Como. What is going on? We're literally in the 19th minute. We're into added time. 
with a chance to get a draw. And stop Palermo going above them in the table. Last kick of the game. Here we go. Hit the like if you agree that this is the most beautiful stadium in Europe because I really do believe that. The location and look at the stadium. We're the last people here because I have to soak it all in. I don't want to get on that flight back to England. Subscribe for more content like this. I never thought I would be at such a unique football stadium, but I love it. Italy has been a blast and shout out to all the Como fans. Good night.